thinking about getting a pet but can't decide between a dog or a cat? Today, I'm writing down the 10 differences between cats and dogs to help you figure out which furry friend is the best fit for your lifestyle. The last two differences make a huge difference in which pet is for you. Make sure you do not miss them so you find out whether you should get a dog or a cat. It's no secret that pets bring so much joy to our lives, but choosing between a cat and a dog can be tough, so I'm here to help. We're going to explore 10 key differences between these two popular pets, from their independence levels to their grooming needs. Make sure to stick around to find out which pet suits your lifestyle the best. And remember, your perfect pet might just surprise you. Difference number one, independence versus companionship. First up, let's talk about independence versus companionship. Cats are often seen as far more independent of the two. They're usually content being alone for extended periods and can entertain themselves. Dogs, on the other hand, thrive on companionship. They love being around people and are often described as man's best friend for a reason. If you have a busy lifestyle or travel frequently, a cat might be a better fit. But what about how they handle your busy schedule? Let's dive into that next. Difference number two, maintenance and grooming. Next, let's compare maintenance and grooming. Cats are pretty self-sufficient when it comes to grooming. They clean themselves regularly and don't need baths very often. However, dogs typically require more grooming. Depending on the breed, they might need regular baths, brushing, and even haircuts. If you're someone who enjoys a routine or likes the bonding time during grooming, dogs might provide more opportunities. Now, let's talk about something that's crucial for many people. How much time you'll spend on their exercise needs. Difference number three, exercise requirements. Exercise is another big difference between cats and dogs. Most cats are content with a few short bursts of play indoors. They don't need a lot of space or a structured exercise routine. Dogs, however, often need regular walks, runs, and outdoor play to stay happy and healthy. This is especially true for larger or more energetic breeds. If you're looking for a pet that doubles as a workout buddy, a dog might be the motivation you need to get moving. Speaking of activities, let's see how cats and dogs play differently with difference number four, play and energy levels. When it comes to play, cats and dogs have different styles. Cats usually prefer short, intense bursts of activity, often during the night. They love to stalk and pounce, mimicking hunting behavior. Dogs, on the other hand, enjoy more interactive play, like fetch or tug of war, and often have more energy to burn throughout the day. This means more opportunities for bonding and outdoor adventures with your dog. And while we're on the topic of play, have you ever wondered about the training differences between cats and dogs? Difference number five, training and obedience. Training is another area where cats and dogs differ significantly. Cats are generally more independent-minded and less motivated by obedience training. You can train a cat, but it takes a lot of patience and creativity. Dogs, however, are usually more eager to please and respond well to training with the right approach, especially when treats are involved. Training a dog can be a rewarding experience that strengthens your bond and communication. But what about when you're away? Let's look at how they handle separation. 
difference number six response to being alone cats are usually okay with being left alone they enjoy their own company and can entertain themselves quite well dogs however can suffer from separation anxiety if left alone for too long they're social animals and can become stressed or even destructive without enough companionship if you work long hours or are often away from home consider how much time you can realistically dedicate to your pet and that brings us to an important aspect their impact on your home environment difference number seven impact on home environment cats generally require less space and can be quite content living in an apartment or a smaller home. They're good at finding cozy spots and don't need a lot of room to roam. Dogs, especially larger breeds, often need more space to move around, both indoor and outdoors. They're best suited to homes with yards or access to parks. The amount of space you have can greatly influence your pet's happiness and comfort. And speaking of space, let's compare their different dietary needs next. Difference number eight, dietary needs. Dietary needs are another key difference. Cats are obligate carnivores, which means they need a diet high in protein, primarily from animal sources. Dogs are omnivores and have more flexibility in their diet, though they still need a balanced intake of nutrients. Both pets have unique dietary requirements, so it's important to feed them appropriately. Knowing these needs help you plan a healthy and happy life for your pets. Now, let's talk about the costs involved. This might surprise you. Difference number nine, cost of care. Let's talk about costs. In general, cats can be less expensive to care for than dogs. They often eat less, don't require as much grooming, and might have fewer vet visits. Dogs, however, can be more costly, especially when you consider grooming, boarding, and medical care for larger breeds or those with specific health needs. Budgeting for a pet is crucial, so make sure you're prepared for all potential expenses. Finally, let's talk about affection and bonding. Difference number 10, affection and bonding. Lastly, but certainly not least, is how dogs and cats show affection. Cats can be quite affectionate, but often in subtle ways. They might rub up against you or sit close by. Dogs to, tend to be much more affectionate, often seeking to be close by to you, like snuggling up or jumping onto your lap. The bond with each pet is special and unique in their own way. Your emotional connection with your pet can greatly impact your overall happiness and well-being. So which one is calling your name? It really comes down to your personal lifestyle and preference. Are you looking for a low maintenance, independent companion, or do you prefer a pet that's eager for your affection and ready for adventure? Think about what suits you best. Remember, whatever you choose, pets are about bringing joy and companionship into your life. Let me know in the comments below which pet you think is the best for you.